Welcome back to Bump Love. In this ever-changing world, we notice that gender roles are constantly under debate. What used to be the role of fathers as providers and mothers as caregivers has slowly become a bit hazy. Today we'd like to talk about the experiences we had growing up and how they have affected us as parents. Ladies? Um, I'll go first. <laughs> um, so I saw my dad provide. So my dad's role basically was provision and security. So provision, security, three things, provision, security, and spiritual leadership. So he was basically, he made sure that we had prayer at home every day. He made sure that we read our Bibles. He made sure that we went to church. Um, if he was, and then discipline was left to my mom, except when it came to spiritual matters. Oh, wow. <laughs> yes. So if you didn't pray. So if, we, if you were was... late for church, if you... <laughs> If you didn't attend family altar, my, yes, like my dad took it upon himself to either put lecture, you like put you, in line. put you in line. The rest of the discipline, keeping the house clean and all of that, that was my mom's role. Wow. So they sort of shared that, except my dad was more passionate about <laughs> spiritual, spiritual, yes, the spiritual aspect of things. Then I saw my mom, and I guess that's probably where I get it from. <laughs> I saw my mom look after the home and the kids. <laughs> she took us to school. She visited us at school. She shopped for us. She took us to hospital when we were sick. She made sure that we learned how to take care of our property. How, you know, she drew up a schedule and made sure somebody had a chore to do. There was no such thing as this one is young or this one. Every, you were either cleaning the corridor, cleaning the bathroom, that sort of thing. So that's how I saw. And then, of course, the food, food aspect. She made sure there was food on the table. Um, so yeah, the, the, that, I saw that dynamic, I saw my mom really take control and in charge of the home. Like, what, think about the home, everything, when visitors came, it fell on my mom, obviously. Um, when we were sick, my mom. When we had to go to school, my mom. Visiting day, my mom. And then my dad really, I guess because he was in ministry and all, took charge of, you know, providing, made sure that, you know, we had school fees and uh, the spiritual aspect and a bit of discipline. That. So that's how I saw the, the cat dance. <laughs> well, I grew up in a typical home, I guess like yours, but yeah. more, my only issue really was that both my parents worked and they worked ah. equally time, both in time and in finances. Yeah. But I never ever saw my mother's money. <laughs> they, uh, <laughs> let me tell you, I used wow. to think literally that my mother used to just go and volunteer her services at Makere University. Just oh. because I never saw a penny, a penny to do anything. And if my father saw something in the house uh. that he was sure was never on a list or that he did not buy. Yeah. Yeah. You wake up in the morning and you found money there at the breakfast table. Oh, wow. Yeah, he would ask her, where did you get, what, what, what did you buy? Like, How, where did so you get in, the money where, to where, buy yeah. So I used to work. Okay, it didn't come to me until much later. Yeah. Like when I was older, that, hey, but this woman actually works. Actually, there was a strike at Macquarie University and they were, they had not, they were, I think there was some lag. They hadn't paid them for some time. Mm -hmm. So I was like, you mean they pay you? <laughs> 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 they actually pay you. I think it was what, six months? They had gone without pay. Okay. But they were, no, I think they were asking for a, a, an increment. Yeah. I'm asking, you're asking for an increment. You're not even, there is no money There's I'm no seeing money. of you. Yeah. <laughs> So my, my dad, in the true sense, sense of, of the it, word, yes. was an 100% provider. provider. But the only other thing what I really loved about it, so my mom was basically home management. Mm. Of course, children, taking the children, cleaning, uh, chores, yeah. spiritual, yes. yeah, it was church, let's yes. go, making sure you're dressed, mm. not on her money, but just make sure you're smart. <laughs> yeah. and, but but the, what, the only thing my dad was time visitation oh. things to do with visitation he was in like he was there yeah. any extracurricular activity anything i did i was on the sports national team i, was on, I did swimming mm -hmm. my dad took me picked me up from school every day took me to the swimming pool to yeah. train brought me back if you had practice um, and yeah. we had piano lessons <laughs> he was in charge of that so he took us to school yes. so when it came to time quality time he was always there he just mm -hmm. didn't help in the domestic mm -hmm. if it had anything to do in the house he wasn't doing it. Mm -hmm. But if, it, if we had activities outside, outside the house, yeah. he took charge completely. Wow. But when it came to finances, mm. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, my mom's money up to now, I <laughs> wonder what it is. <laughs> so it's interesting think... that you, you speak like that. Cause, so when, when my parents were together, 
my mom and my mom and my dad both worked. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now I I I I I don't know what happened behind because I've never thought to ask her yes. what was your dime doing. Yes. I feel like it was kind of like your plot, but my me I know where my mom's dime was, was going. going. Um because she'll tell me things such as, oh, I went, I bought cows at home, okay. I bought land here, I bought okay. here. So I kind of feel like her money did something, like, like I was privy to some information, I guess. Yeah. But also things like, um, we are going to church, what will the children wear? Yeah. I feel like that's where she put the money, because she would be the one who would come with it. It's like when my father bought things, we could see he was the one. We saw where the money, the source yes. was, and when it was my mom, we knew where the source, source was. was. Okay. So they both went to, they, they both, both went worked. to work and came back. But my mom would then add on the domestic. Mm. Okay. So running the home, but we had two maids. She was running two maids, a house boy, those ends, a shamba boy, a farmer. And then also we grew up in Makere, where almost everything was kind of mm. free. They would give posho, they would give bread, they would give oh, rice. Yes, they would yes, give. Yes, so yes, we all yes. knew that that one was because daddy was working with Makere. Then they separated. And every, every form of leadership, that's when I started to see yes. roles. And now for me, roles just completely finished for me because my mom did everything. everything yeah. Spiritual leadership, she's Bulletin. the one. Go, um, going to church, praying, come and we pray, let's put our hands together, fasting, mm. even fasting, mm. my mom. Then security, she's the one locking doors, she's yeah. the one, uh, you know, all of those... Have, you, have the windows closed? Are you sure? Staying awake? We've had a sound in the night. She's the one awake. Mm. So everything that a man, like that difference, when I was younger, when I could have, I couldn't tell who yes. was doing what. Yes. And then units, yeah. I just saw a unit. And then when I, when they separated, I saw only one person do it. So for me, gender and gender roles completely diminished really for me. Ah, yeah. I see. Oh, I think growing up for me, I saw my dad being the provider. Mm. He was actually the only provider because mom stayed home yeah, okay. for her. She took care of us, um, you know, chores, making, she, we even had a mini garden. She was like those wives. We had a oh. mini garden. Yes. She would go and do her beans, <laughs> man. Green, <laughs> At, uh, yeah, she would do herbs. Yeah, I think we had like a cute home growing up. She, we had a backyard. She Pick would... Exactly. <laughs> and dad, like all that, for us, we knew dad has to be the provider. Right, yeah. So he, he, security was dad, um, providing, taking us to school. But when we grew older, they shared a bit of the roles. Mm. So they would always come to, to school together to visit, mm. never letting go. So they would always come. I think growing up, I realized, eh, this thing is not common, actually. Because mm. you would find you it's see. mostly, yeah, mm. I would see it's mostly mothers. That, but they would be to, up, all the way up to secondary school. Mm. Yeah, 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 they, they took it on. So some of the roles they shared, go, um, going to hospital, Sometimes it would be dad, sometimes it's mom, oh, depending on, yeah. Okay. So they shared some roles, yeah. but providing and security was mostly dad. And everything to do with the household was mom. Mm. So, you know, teaching us how to cook, making sure the house is clean, everything was mom. So, mm. yeah, that's mm. what we saw oh, growing up. Um, I think I grew up in a home uh, pretty similar to Pumla's. <clears throat> but why? If I took a step back, my dad is born of you know b bastard kids they're not married okay yeah so his his father's first Love born children yes and his mother's last born okay. so he, but he grew up with his mother so he was he's very in touch with his feminine side okay. then my mom grew up in a home very similar to the homes we're growing up now where you have a dad a mom rich people things like that <laughs> so when growing up if anything i saw my dad cook and, and shower us more often than I, I saw my mom. So as we were, yes, we were refugees. So my dad used to work with Action Aid and my mom worked with the UN. So they would all go to work. And then in the evening would all drive back. And then whilst mom is maybe preparing dinner, yeah. daddy will do homework and you shower. And yes, okay. then in the morning when we are going to work, um, dad used to hold out, he used to, you know, he knows how to, Oh, yes, very neat wow. puffs. 
so um, when, when, when I realized that, oh, men don't do these things, I found it very strange. So my protege came to our house like maybe two weeks ago and, yes. and my, mom, my dad was like, no, no longer go and change so that the yes. visitors see you pretty. So he was in the kitchen and my friend was like, are you serious? And I was like, yes, but this yes. is what I've seen my this whole... life. I know. Yeah, so when my mom came out of the thingy, she's put on her dress, but her feet were not oiled. So my dad got a stool and sat and started oiling them, which for me is normal. But my friend was like, are you guys serious? Like, what's this? So my mom is the machine yomu German. Keynes. Whoa. Yeah, 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 yeah. In line. Ooh, that mukombos can scatter you the cane. My dad, I don't think he, he slapped me once when I was dancing while holding the fridge and the door came off. I would slap you. <laughs> You know those wow. teenage years, we used to dance open and close, so I was holding that free. <laughs> open and close. Hey, just called open and close, yeah. So generally, uh, disciplining, anything to do with that, even security, mom. I honestly believe my mom, I buy is, she's, she's a mujasi, she's a yeah. But her thieves, no, switch on the security lights, move yeah. this side. So yeah, that's, that's the home that I grew up wow. in. Right. So... So how, you guys, how did this influence how you, and I think we've sort of touched a bit on it, how did yeah. it influence how you view responsibilities of a mother and a father in a home? I was confused. I can imagine. <laughs> I was confused. I, 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 I got, like we got married. Mm. A bulb gets the thing. Mm -hmm. I get the, <laughs> the Hey, fix it. I cut eyes having problem me. Yeah. I call Brian for what? Oh, what? what? And unfortunately for us, mm. Brian was raised in a single home mm. where he saw his mom do everything. Yeah. So me standing on a table was not a problem. Yes, yeah, it was cover. Yeah. Not to turn on the table. Yeah. It's all he saw. Sewing so that the, the the dress of the other one is torn. He would so eat. So we kind of became, or we have become like um, Angie's parents. Only that we do it. In, it's like haphazard. Yeah. I mean, like yesterday, I uh, honest things. Yesterday, I we are working. We are we are running around, and I'm going on a date with the kids. It was mm. date date day for the kids. Mm. So Brian tells me, "Oh, I want to go home really early. I want to be home by. I need to clean up the house and iron and wash and what." I, it was very normal. Yes, until until else no, 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 not even until. So it's because I knew I knew the topic that we're going to discuss yeah. this week. <laughs> yeah. I was like, hold up. He needs yeah. to clean yeah. the house. He's cleaning the house. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> this is I got home. Typical. Of course, the whole time I was just like this. Eh? Like I was like, eh, eh. we have this. Arrange. This arrange, this is our yes. arrangement, and we'll come in differently. Like one week, I'll be like, ah, me, I need to go home. You, you stay with the kids. Yes. Me, I've gone to clean up the house. I need to cook. I need to show. Like we just pick and choose any role to date. So if you come into our home, it's quite comfy. Even chores, like teaching chores. Brian yesterday opened the the kids' bathroom. Blake, what is this? What is this? What is this? Can you come and clean up this place? Bianca, come and we cook. They cooked yeah. with yeah. Bianca, me. You were chilling somewhere. Chilling. Princess. But then there's another princess. But then there's another time when it switches. Yeah. If I see he's watching TV, mm. I will go and cook. Like, it's, yeah, yeah I will go and cook. So yeah. for us, it's, if you watch us from the outside, it's quite, even Bianca's hair, mm. washing Bianca's hair, she he'll does. be like, eh, 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 the hair these days. It's not good. Let me go and wash. Let me wash the hair. Because you said she uses shampoo, then conditioner. How about conditioner, then shampoo? I said yeah. shampoo, then conditioner. Mm. <laughs> that's, that's what happens, to be honest, mm. in my women, home. Yes. You know they say women marry their fathers, yeah. girls marry their fathers. Yeah. Then you reach the home and realize, yeah, okay, the parts I knew about my father are the ones I knew. Mm. Then there are yeah. the other parts, there are parts I didn't know. Yeah. So I got married. I come from a home where I've never seen my mother's money. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> typical Chiganda 
home. Typical setting of a Chiganda home where the man is, is able to, is responsible and can provide. Then, <laughs> I find myself in a household where someone was raised by a Mochiga woman. In a home where an understanding is joint contribution and the tug of war in that for me it's an expectation now of course i think also another issue is maybe because i got married young and nobody tells you anything like i've not grown up to hear stories from other people yeah. or hear other people's experiences yeah. or even had time to be cancelled i mean you've just come from campus to do that do 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 go and be a homemaker they've thrown you inside the thing then you're already there you're pregnant immediately you're expecting chimeza money on the other thing mugundi man doesn't know chimeza you're expecting now my thing to come hey, well, chimeza money the, you, like that so because there were so many expectations because you're assuming that your home is going to mirror where you, you came, came from, from or what you know yeah. or what you know so then it's also and this is just in hindsight now in that time there was so much turmoil because i was convinced my our way was the correct way True. yeah we don't True. do anything me i'm i'm happy to help with every everything else you yeah. know i can do whatever but now because then there was that issue because he grew up in that kind of form of joint contribution he wanted to disturb me in the kitchen to disturb me in other things. I don't in want to things. be disturbed. Yeah, like leave me, assist me. Like, like if I go to the to, to do, kitchen, what is it helping? And yet for you, you <laughs> for me it was not for me it was not helping. It was mentoring my business. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, like leave me alone. I just want to wake up in the morning here yeah, and find some money for a dress. I don't want to see you in the kitchen. Like for me, you're not helping. You're not you're not doing anything because that. I didn't grow up seeing it. I didn't expect it. Yeah. So there was a lot of clash and battle and. But you see, I didn't stay long in the home, <laughs> so something was definitely wrong. And then when I got out of the home, now that's when everyone starts, you know when you fail, that's when people start talking to you. That's when they start telling you things. I tell you, no, I tell you, I tell now maybe this should have happened. I tell I'm sorry, you're telling me when I've left, I'm out. Yeah. <laughs> How can I, I can't assist you. How can I assist you? And then my parents evolved to Angie's parents right in front of my eyes in my adulthood yeah. and i'm saying but you could have been those people yeah. while i was growing up maybe because and in hindsight so when i was in the home i was convinced i was right but when i took many steps back afterwards i realized that's not what i wanted i actually needed that help yeah, and yeah. I, because i'm working yeah. Yeah. and i'm financially independent and i can afford I would want to be a pro, like a, not to provide, I beg, I'm sorry, yeah. not to provide, yeah. because me basic needs, no, I'm yeah. sorry, yeah, mm. but I, 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 would be, I should be able to contribute, because I take home a paycheck, yes. and not a small one, yes. so I can do, yes. and then he can also bring, yeah. and then we can do together the domestic yeah. chores, yeah. so that's now for me, I decide, so while I should, I would, I think if I had stayed in the home, I would have presented a picture that my parents gave me. Yeah. But now that I know better because of things that happened yeah. along the way. And then because Ma Manuela, you were lucky, you were privy to what your mother was doing with her money during the time. I was only made privy to those things after, later. The investment and, you know, long-term goals. Yeah. Well, for me, I was looking so myopically at the short term. Yeah. Here now, what is yeah, doing? Yeah, yeah. Here TV, who's going to pay the electricity bill? Who's going to pay DSTV? Yet there is land that can be bought, you can invest yeah. in. Yet there is. So it was such a, but now, because I'm now confident in what I'm sure I think I like, which is the picture my parents have only presented me now. Yeah. So that is what I'm showing, like, I think what I saw growing up has helped me a lot because I saw dad being the provider and I expect my husband of course to provide and he's doing it. So the security, the providing is all him. Because I also work, I didn't see my mom work, but now because I work, of course we have help to, you know, help us in, you know, in house cures and keeping the home. But in terms of um, doing things together, I will take home, like I will help him, you know, things to do with land. Uh, I think a while ago I got a loan and we bought land, yeah. which is something that really excited him. Yeah. So that's what mom did, because when she was tailoring, she would just support, yeah. you know, yes. go back home. Like I'll buy bread, I'll, I, won't, I won't wait for him to be the only one to buy bread, like yeah. she was saying. Yeah. If she, you know, if, if she had known better, maybe that's what she would have evolved. But maybe because he, he, he's a Muganda and he knew his role, 
I'm, I'm glad that what I saw my mom do, I'll do, and I'm not, I'm not hurt that she's not coming to the kitchen. Because mm -hmm. for people who have seen, you know, their, their dads come to the kitchen, they'll be like, man, why is it you know, why is, not, why is he not doing that? So, yeah, I'm happy with the roles. If I'm in the kitchen, yeah. kawa. Go, bring the money, kameza, happy. Good. <laughs> Okay, one, I'm really glad that Manuela has brought it up because, so that I don't look like the odd person out, okay. like the person who prefers male masseuse to female masseuse. Okay. Um, for me, when I got my first paycheck, I took it Presented to my husband. These. Yes, because in our home to this day, yes. my parents have never, ever had separate accounts. Okay. Never. Okay. So. I presented my paycheck. It was 500k. Oh my god, we are together. Oh my god. Yeah, I think my first paycheck was 500. Yes. Oh I my god. So I presented. I told him, baby, I've got my paycheck. He's like, great. What are you going to do with it? And my heart was like, what do you mean? Yes. So I've brought it. Yes. It's like, no, Angie. You know, this is your money. I said, but I don't need the money. Because he provides, he provides everything. But even if he didn't, growing up, I saw my parents do that. So next, after he was like, no, Angie, this is your money. I said, okay. I went, I opened a bank account. Yes. I took for him to sign the papers. And he's like, Angie, isn't this your bank account? I said, yes, it so is ours. So why are you bringing me your damn papers? <laughs> to to this day, I do not have a personal account that does not have his signature. Because it's not that people have said they will, he'll steal you. He will yeah. steal what? There isn't much. But anyway, he will steal you. He will do this. But you know, it's for example, if you grow up eating dogs and your mom eats a dog, so you expect to eat a dog as well. Yeah. So for me, when it came to that, I knew you, you get your money and you give it to your husband and you plan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then it came to roles. My dad cooks. He cleans, he, he does everything. So I was also expecting, yes. like, babes, aren't we going to light the bed together? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's like, are you all right? No, he's like, yeah, 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 but let me go to the bathroom. Uh -huh. <laughs> day one, day two, day three. One year, two years, 16 yeah. years, Eight. up to now. <laughs> Oh no, we didn't reach there. I'm like, you hold that side, I hold this side, and yeah. hey, we be yeah, as if. Yeah. But yeah, gen I won't lie, the way we are raised really, really, really affects the way we get yeah. into, especially yeah. marriage. Pumla mentioned that there are certain parts of your parents, watching your parents that you don't see, that then you experience in your marriage. I'll tell you a, a silly yeah. story. So when I got married, yes, I saw my father provide. Every day he came back home with milk, he came back home with maybe a loaf of bread or bananas or whatever. What I didn't know is that there was a discussion between him and my mom about what's missing in the house. Yes. So now when I get home and Ben is not coming back with milk and we need milk, oh. it's like, don't you know that we need We need these things. He's like, babe, you have to tell me. Because you're in charge of the kitchen or in charge of the home or knowing what's there and what is not, I need to know in advance. You guys, I was not allowing. I was just like, no, no, no. did you see? Fathers come back home with milk and bread. So for you, why are you not coming back home with milk and bread? And yet you know that we need milk. It was interesting. And then the other difference was I saw my dad close doors at night. The security aspect. I saw him make sure windows are closed, make sure... You know, the gate is locked because there are days when we'd sleep and the gate is wide open. So he made it his responsibility to go check on the gate. So I get married. My husband goes to bed. He's not checking on the doors. I'm like, but see, don't you care that we could be robbed? There was maybe one or two nights where we slept and the key was outside. You know how you open that door and then shut it and leave the key out? I'm like, but this is his responsibility. But when I quickly realized clearly, it's not, he's not going to, he's not going to do it. Yeah. Yes, I took it upon myself, money. Yeah. There is yeah. no, your money, her, his money, it's yeah. our money. So I reached a point where I was like, okay, if I am sharing in this provision thing, thing mm. how about Faya, that you help yeah. coin that kitchen? Yeah. And it became a thing for years. Like yeah. we fought about it, we argued about it. I could not understand for the life of me why you know that it's just the two of us in the home. We've not had a living maid for years. Why wouldn't you at the very least? Yeah, like 
you don't have to do all the dishes or you don't have to help me cook for example pick a chore do the dishes or help me with mic and shower him like that for me that cut dance because the money yeah. aspect we are doing it together and yet me the way i know the domestic aspect. yes mm, okay. so i i always felt like i mean i have come to i'm okay with it now he will yeah. help he helps with my car make sure he's had his bath his dinner and all of that but i still do the bigger yeah. part the of bigger the bigger share yes. Yes. try Take having a baby girl and you see what happens really yes it changed. Working on it. Working on it. <laughs> Ladies, do you believe that there are some roles that are specifically for a mother or a father, or these roles can actually be shared? The roles are determined by biology. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I I can't expect Brian to breastfeed the children. Biologically, I'm the one that breastfeeds that child. He he cannot for the life of him yeah. breastfeed a child. But, but he can bottle feed. Yeah, but, but then there may be a point when you want to breastfeed. Yes. Okay. We're speaking for a mom who wants to breastfeed and is mm. actively breastfeeding her child, child. for two yeah. years. Yeah. That mm. role cannot be exchanged. Okay. In whatever way, bottle yeah. feeding is, is, is a compliment. Yeah. You can compliment, yes. or maybe if you don't want to breastfeed, yes. or if you cannot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But if you want to and you can, yeah. you cannot you interchange cannot. the role. Yes, you can. That's it. So for me, biologically, that's the only thing. Even me, I feel like apart from breastfeeding. But other than that, everything. every other role can, can be, be shared, shared yeah. or can be ex. Okay. Uh, mm. I'm being a bit. I, and then when you comes to money, man, I become something else. Tell us. Everything else can be switched okay. over here and, and there. Mm -hmm. But if you are to ask me, apart from biology, what are those roles? I would say the man provides financially. The woman prepares. So the man, it's like the man builds a home. The woman makes the home. Yeah. That's what I would say. But mm. they can be. I think that, so you, you, what you're saying makes a lot of sense and I, I realize that the reason why this conversation is under debate a lot today mm -hmm. is one, because of society. So the, the gender roles, yes, has been um, accelerated by society. Yeah. However, the way I usually like to look at this or the way most people like to look at this is when the home fails, like when the children are dirty. Who will they look who at? Who will they look at? You get like when when there is no food in the store when there is no food at home there has to be someone that we can blame so when we say yeah, <laughs> roles can be shared at yeah. the end of the day there are certain there are certain pillars yeah. with one where this conversation yes exactly. exactly that's what we're adding on to that Very like true. when the kids are not going to school mm -hmm. you know that it's the father to Thank blame you. If yeah, so stuff like that. Very I hear true. you. You know, Very I have, true. and this is maybe to back on to Manuel and say, I'll always say this, and I don't know if a gen there will be a generation that differs, mm -hmm. but for to be honest with you, even the Bible says it. For as long as I am the giver of life, as long as I am Ganavachua, I between any gender, I am the only one able to go through the traumatic experience of carrying a child going into labor and entering a near life or death experience to birth our child, child yeah. for as long as that role is, is on, me. on me a hundred percent for as long as i'm fathering I'm, I'm, you have to have something yeah. that is entirely yours, yours and we are not going to cross the line yeah. for as long as you exist yeah, yeah. Mm. as I'm, for as long as and this is, I, I'm talking about a scenario where all factors are remaining constant. constant. I'm not talking about a home where the father has died, the father has lost yeah, his yeah. fees, his he's job, not the, he's not around, the father has. But at the end of the day, the woman will go through labor, mm. through pain. And you know, it's not even about that pain, you guys. It's the fact that every time you enter the hospital to give birth, you don't know if you're coming out alive. alive. Yes. True. And as long as that responsibility falls on my shoulders, yeah. I'm sorry. You will provide yeah. Yeah. financially at the very least yeah. basic needs. Mm -hmm. yeah. You will provide security. Mm -hmm. I'm finishing. Mm -hmm. You will provide shelter. Mm -hmm. You will provide security. You will provide education, food, and clothing. Yeah. Let that be you. Yeah. Yeah. Then let me. Yeah. 
Aisha and, and take Even care. if I don't, by the way, yes. the fact that it's still on me, I might be in a home and tr I'm trying to give birth and then a man can come out and say, but for me and my wife, we don't have children. No, that's not what it is. Mm -hmm. It's the fact that that responsibility still remains system. on me regardless yeah. of whether, whether I'm not. going to have the children or not. It is my responsibility to have birth. yours. Yeah. Yeah. And then anything else after that, we can do a dance. Mm. We can play. And me, that is my, and I stand by it, with, whether what or what, I am sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, can I ask? Um, can I ask? My question would be: Every time, I'm not trying to downplay childbirth. You shouldn't, darling. No. Never try to downplay childbirth. I, 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 I shouldn't. <laughs> but yeah, because we're saying that every time you walk into a theatre or into a hospital, it's a life, life. or death question is every time this man goes out and either he flies this plane or gets into the car isn't that also a yes life it is or but i can also get into a plane and I, I can fly a plane and drive a car and even so in all those times for there's, yeah, one, it, there's one person there's only one whom, person for whom that this is one a real is responsibility everything every other life or death experience you that can my, yeah, that a man yeah. has you can a do woman together. can you can yeah. also have that exact same probability but mm. in so this biologically, one, biologically, there is this, one responsibility. And for as long have. as that happens, I'm sorry. For as long as the man is present makes, and yeah. able, he, he needs Please to provide. provide yeah. Everything things. else can be shared. Can but be that shared. one, it's yours. So I think how I see my boys, because it's the boys that are grown now, um, I've tried to teach them that that provision thing when there's no money like in the morning before he maybe leaves Kameza or he's still chilling I'll be like if they, we need anything tell daddy that daddy's aren't going to buy the food so go and pick the money from daddy and exactly what I saw my mom actually do yes daddy will will, will buy the food yeah. so what are we having for for lunch today okay tell daddy so that they go up knowing even school fees they will know that it's daddy so let's not take these positions away from their fathers and the boys should grow up knowing for me because it's the boys i think when my girl grows older you know that it will change like i'll have to show her i remember my you know showing her how we cook how we humble ourselves and i saw my dad buy flowers for my mom every day on valentine's day and Instead of sulking and being angry and being like, which kind of man is this? We need to be understanding, as understanding enough to know that, you know what? He didn't grow up seeing this, so it doesn't come naturally for him. So I, I just talked to him and told him, no, this is actually what I want. I need us to go for dinner. It's a special day for him. He's like, ah, Val's me shave you. So the things that I feel like I really... I can, I, can I stop you on flowers, you guys? You know how like on Valentine's Day, some women buy for themselves flowers for other people to see? So me one oh, time, I actually did it. Oh, to just to bring, not for myself, I just got, brought the flower home. So that when my son saw that, because who is he seeing doing it? I don't know what's happening the other side again. So that when he saw that, he knew, he knows that. I thought, when, so thought he would ask me so we can have that conversation that, oh no, but you know what? When you care for somebody, women like flowers, they like yes. gifts. You find out what someone likes and then you give them. And since it's Valentine's Day and it's a day for giving, yeah. he gave me something. People, they are <laughs> wedding me about. I don't know why people are not seeing it. Let's <laughs> pink coconut. Anyway. Uh, pink coconut, <laughs> get <laughs> red. People are not we need to get dressed. Uh, uh, no, no, but that, that's why I, I, I just yeah. remember that. That was so a long time me, ago. It was about even three years, what, four? Years ago. Yeah. <laughs> Many years ago. But I think the best way to prepare our children for gender roles comes down to empathy. Yeah. Yeah. Because yes. as we said, yes, yes, yes. we are able to do all of these things. Yeah. It's just that you choose that maybe your spouse will close doors as you're cooking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you teach somebody to feel what it feels like yes. for someone else, then most likely they will be able to yeah. carry these roles. I come from a family where we have a very, my mom is a, she's strong. So yes, and, and, and inside, I think I got both of my parents. I'm, I'm soft like my dad, but inside, oh. I know there's this there's strong cooking. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So with my sons, I started noticing that they felt that a woman is stronger. Strong, yeah. You know, they're like, yes. mom will fix it. Yes. Mom will find Super a way. Mom. Uh huh. Then I realized this is not good. So I now went back to what you do. So even if I am getting something, I'm like, boys, did you say thank you to dad Daddy. for your tuition? Yes. 
boys, did you say thank you for this? And then I always make it look like we are doing things together, together so they don't feel that. But it boils down to empathy, empathy. being able to feel for totally your agree. spouse. Totally yeah. agree. Yeah. I think for us it's been, it's been that thing that you're going through. It's that everybody can do any one of the other, but there are those things. Mm. So we both came from a home where anybody, you know, somebody, Everyone the mom can do, can do anything, yeah. right? Yeah. But then we, we, it did get us into a lot of trouble and a lot of clashing because I realized that my mom would have to change a car tire because there was no man. Yeah. But now yeah, yeah. I had to change a tire Yet I had a man. So there was a difference. Like later when I realized it, I'm like, I could fall down and there is Brian. Mm. You understand? So after a while, I started to feel like, oh, hold up. Something feels uncomfortable. I think for my mom, it was kind of comfortable because she didn't have anyone anyway yeah. Yeah. to then depend on. But now me, I had somebody in the house. Yeah, so yeah. so I was like, hey, but mm. there is some. There was a time I called Brian and said, babe, my, the car has a problem. Is in there a shell nearby, really? I would cry. I would pick up the phone <laughs> and cry. I would be like, what? really? Is there like a shell on that road? You tell them to. By the way, I would park <laughs> and go <laughs> and go away. I left the car. <laughs> Caleb, me, I would park and I would cry <laughs> until you come. Until you come. <laughs> remember for you guys. It was because shell. there was. But for me, I was like, oh, yeah, 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 there's a, no, it's not a <laughs> shell. There's yeah, like a total. Yeah, yeah. You understand? But then I started to realize that it's uncomfortable because it's not natural. Mm. I can, but it's not natural. So right now, um, we, are, we are very intentional. We're trying to be very intentional with, yes, I can wash dishes, but if dishes are not washed, there's someone we are going to look, we are going mm. to look at. Yes, I can pay tuition as Manuela, but if there is no tuition, there is somebody that we are going to, to look, look at. at. Sure. So that's kind of how we are looking at it. The fact that the, the whole domestication thing bothers me, it's what I have decided to take on as yes. teaching Micah. Ah, yeah. yes. So I teach him simple things like come and pick your food from the kitchen or you know, take your plate to the kitchen. And I've realized that Ben helps me in this lesson because he shares my sentiments maybe just now that he's stuck in his ways yes. he may not yes. be able to to do yeah, as he, i please yeah but he understands the, the value it, yes so he will be hard on him like hey you finished eating have you said thank you to your mom for preparing dinner have you taken your plate to the kitchen um and then the other thing that i've tried to do is so when he goes to the bathroom to bathe you know splashes water all over the place and then walks out i said no 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 you know when Micah understands and is bothered when I am not happy with him. Yes. For him, that is it's a big deal. Yes. Mommy's not happy with me. She's showing me a sad face. So I tell him, Micah, when you pour water on the floor, it makes mommy unhappy. Yeah. Which means I have to bend and clean and I will get tired and I won't be happy. It's like, oh, oh sorry, so, mommy. So yes. he's seeing that I can do this. Yes. I need to do this. Empathy. So when he empathy. Goes, the empathy, yes, I wanted to empathy. piggyback on that. When he goes to the bathroom and he's going to start his shower, I say, Micah, remember, then he repeats after he's like, no pouring water on the floor. <laughs> no. So he understands. Stands, yes. When maybe he gets carried away with his bath and there's a he's like, oh, sorry, mommy. Yes. Then he'll go get a rug and, and try to clean. clean. Yeah. So little lessons like that. So for me, I've taken on the, the, the helping out in the house, picking up after yourself. And I see that Ben understands the value. So we are working on that on that together. lesson together. And then you guys were talking about Valentine's and I remember how every time I finish a bump love shoot, so I go back home with makeup, mm. Micah always says, Mommy, you're gorgeous. <laughs> and that was told to him by his dad. Aww. He says, Mommy looks lovely, so you have to tell her she looks gorgeous. <laughs> yes. Or when I'm wearing like a dress that is, mm, I've not seen this shirt, Mommy, you're gorgeous. Yes. Yes. I'm like, oh, that's, that's, that's really sweet. So I guess one day at a time. Yeah, yeah, one, yeah one day at a time. Thank you ladies for sharing and we hope we have been able to touch a young mother out there. As a mother to older children, I will um, summarize by saying empathy is very important, but above all, children listen to more to actions than words. So even if you drum into your head or your son's head that this is how things are supposed to be done, if he does not look at his father figure doing these things, at the end of the day, they still will not stick. Don't forget to comment and share your stories and hit that like button. With love from Bump Love.